Oh my That's God. the man, Della ah. Jackson. Della Jackson. Have a seat. Have a seat. Good yes. morning to you. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Della Jackson. He's a musician. How many instruments do you play? I play five different instruments. Wow. So as you've played this, aren't you tired? No, me. It's, it's, you're used to it. It's okay. Mm. Because I was thinking, <laughs> won't it be energy sapping? Mm, a little bit. Okay. That is when you are, you are beginning. Okay. Eh. But we're here, yeah, Mama, because master. of... Uh, it's International Jazz Day tomorrow, yes. April 30. The concert's held uh, across the world. For us here on the AM Show, this is our concert. Enjoy it. But we'll be telling you what will be happening in other places in Ghana. Uh, Mr. Jackson has a lot going on, and we're going to be exploring all the areas. Uh, so first of all, we appreciate you taking time off to be here this morning. Uh, thank you. Mm. It's my uh, pleasure. How, is, how would you rate jazz music in Ghana? Uh, I can say jazz music in Ghana is a little bit on the quiet, uh, just because uh, we've had a, a, a very long time of the absence of nightlife. Mm. So that has really had a very bad effect on jazz music and general music for that matter. Okay. Mm, How was tonight. it before? How was it before? <laughs> no, it was really, really vibrant. Those were when we were, we were kids, you heard of in the, in the 70s, just before the, in the 79 coup. It was really... Uh, a lot of yeah. nightlife. nightlife. Way from the, the 60s. The way it's up, you know. Yeah. And by the, the intervention of the military, adventurers really, really mm. killed the nightlife in the system, mm. you know. And now that things are coming back, we pray yeah. that uh, the stability stays on mm. continuously like this. You know, Roland, I wonder, what does jazz mean to you? No, you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I was wondering. I, I, how would I describe it? I see myself, I cannot live with the jazz. Uh, I, I see in the music circle, I see music, jazz like you are doing your uh, uh, master's and PhD in other uh, disciplines. Okay. Yeah, you can uh, aspire to play jazz when you don't want to study. Mm. Mm. It goes with study. Yeah. Just like you, maybe you're doing accounts or you're mm. doing uh, management. Or something of the sort. You need to climb higher the ladder. Sure. Yes. Wh wh why do we have uh, a day set aside for jazz? For example, um, when my producer said we have International Jazz Day, I said, for all the days that we need to have in the world, International <laughs> Jazz Day? Yes. Why is that? Check this out. In November 2011, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, mm. officially designated April 30th as International Jazz Day in order to highlight jazz and its diplomatic role of uniting people in all corners of okay. the globe. So, so, so we get the drift. So yeah. the drift is that music unites a lot of people. Uh, of course. And so that is why jazz is important. Of course. If you want to be, let's say, a jazz musician, what does it take? Now, you can't just wake up and say, I want to be a jazz, a musician, a jazz musician. You must be a musician in itself before you think of becoming a jazz musician. Just like a, a uh, uh, you, you can't just wake up and say, I want to be a, a doctor. A, a doctor. You need to at least know something about medicine, mm. study a little bit, and go higher. Then you can become a, a, a specialist doctor, just mm. like in any field. Okay, you so will, this is a specialized area of, course, of music. In, yeah, we know we have different genres of music. We have reggae, we have high life. We have Bobo Obo, we have classical music. Now we have a Zonto. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we have jazz. And I jazz see. is the, 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 the ultimate, as I'll put it, you know. And jazz is very interesting because jazz is uh, full of improvisation. You can't play jazz when you cannot improvise. In other words, jazz. In jazz music, it's where you, you learn to do instant compositions. Mm. I see. You know, so every time you, you, you feel that so that free yeah. to be able to express yourself in the music, 
it's not like uh, you're doing a classical music, a classical tune, and it's a straight jacket. Mm. The arrangement is that you have to follow the uh, note to note. But jazz, we have what we call the head. Someone would say the melody. After the head is played, the rest is for you. express yourself. Mm. So that's why you guys do. You keep. You know, <laughs> that is called improvisation. Do you have to learn it, let's say, the way, as in classical, the, you have the notes written down for you? Of course. You cannot be a jazz, a good jazz player when you cannot read. You can't read music? Yeah. Okay. No. All right. We, we know some jazz musicians around the world, and I particularly um, love some of, um, it depends on which of the instruments they're playing, especially the... Guitar jazz musicians, I tend to love them. But I, I, I love those who use your type the, of instrument. The saxophone. Saxophone. The saxophone. Now, at what point do we um, tend to put our mindset to the type of music that is played using this type of instrument, the saxophone? Because not every music could be played on it, can it? Mm, every, I can say any music that has melody, melody. Uh, you know, some, uh, I would say, there are some melodies that I would say are uh, clumsy. Mm. So playing them on the instrumentally, it's a, a, a beat. It's a, okay. Yeah, like when you, 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 how would I put it, like... You can do hip-hop on it. No, you can. Yeah? It has, but you can rap. On a saxophone. Okay. No, but, but you, can combine, you can combine the tunes. You can combine the tunes. Mm -hmm. Of course. You can combine the tunes. Somebody raps and then you play in between. And of that course. Kind of thing. Mm. That is where the act comes there. Okay. When you talk about fusion, you fuse some mm. other thing with another thing. Yeah. Let's, you, you, I, I started recognizing you from... Uh, the International Central Gospel Church, Christ Temple. Mm -hmm. I saw you every Sunday perform uh, during the second of a tree. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but you've been true. there 17 years. Yes. This wow, that's a lot of years yeah. playing in church. How yeah. did it start for you? Uh, it started, actually, I'm a church person. I was born into a church called Apostles Revelation Society. ARS. ARS. Ntonchi. Um, Ntongshi. That's why I learned my trumpet. I was a trumpet player. Okay. Before I used to saxophone, you know, and I learned my trumpet in the church. But along the line, I veer off church going because I just couldn't. Yeah, other musicians do. Understand some of the things. Some of the church politics can yeah. really drive you out of the church, you know. And I know Ntongshi is here is an almost orthodox yeah. and. That's Apostle Woveno. Yes. Yeah. CK and Woveno. Yeah. You know. Of late. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So later, I, then I started playing music. Then music took me away from church. Uh, then I came back. Then went to play in some small charismatic church. Also, I stopped. Then somebody took me something different. I studied yoga a little bit. Come back, and I stopped. And I said, well, let me stay home. Then somebody took me to International Central Gospel Church. Then I met my friends. Mr. Jackson, Charlie, but what you need more? I said, come on, we pass some way. I eat some don't. You know, but I was talking about when I came home, a small voice keep telling me in my head, hey, Charlie, go back to that area. Go back, the people. So, so now you're back in church. I'm back in church. And when I went back, I played what my heart likes. That brings yeah. us to our next question. Yes. You know, the world was so religious, but very st stereotypical. Of we course. We stereotype. Mm -hmm. And, and so we tend to think that those who have nightlife indulge in certain kind of art. How do you do the symmetry or the reconcile? How do you reconcile that? Oh, what is that? That you're, that you're a church person. Mm -hmm. At some point, you're a night person. And then people have perception about uh, okay. people who live, so, work in the night. So let me, let me add on to that. You also perform at Alisa Hotel. You've been performing there for like the longest time as well. Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, and I guess, you know, typically when people see musicians perform in the open place and they perform in church, it's like two different places. Is that how it looks like for you? I don't look, see it from that angle. I, I take, for example, I, I take, for example, uh, uh, like, uh, take for uh, maybe an artisan, mm. a carpenter. Mm. 
is a Christian. And they say, the window of a discotheque is broken. <laughs> <laughs> you are naughty. <laughs> no, he's not. He, he, he's not. He's real. <laughs> <laughs> you are so uh, naughty. Is that Christian going to say, oh, because the window is a discotheque window, so I I'm not going to attend. Yeah. No, that is your job. Yeah. yeah. That's imagine. what <laughs> puts money on the table. Yeah. Okay. But I wouldn't say they are the same thing comparing it to music. You know, we have some music that somebody might, might tell this music has a lot of profanity in it. Mm. In it. And I see jazz is not profane. Yeah. It's pure of instrumental but music. But let's say you're playing Nicki Minaj song. No, but he's playing the instrumental. I mean, he's yeah, not. Yeah, I know. He's it's not, not profane. Yeah, yeah. It's I, not I, profane, I, but you're playing Nicki Minaj, Minaj song. So how do you record Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's a music. Well, it's what you do with the music. And I love instrumental music. I'm not moved by mel uh, lyrics. Mm. I'm yeah. moved by melodies. Yeah. Like me too. Right. Yeah, so I'll fall for me a song through the me melody. Then maybe before later crowd for think about what even the lyrics sounds like. Mm. You know what I'm so I take jazz like you are serving serving people. It's a yeah. service to people. Mm. See the doctor works in the night too. <laughs> it's a nightlife. <laughs> I like the way you put and it. And a Christian daughter can abort. Maybe because of an yeah, emergency. Man. I'm not. I mean, you have a Christian <laughs> watchman. No, he's taught me scenarios that we can compare. Yeah, you have a Christian okay, watchman. Now, now you're rolling. You're being naughty night. here. We, we'll pause for some. I mean, I hope you don't mind. I mean, Which one comes to your mind? Day. Not uh, Mikorazon, not uh, Don Moyen. Something secular. You. Mm. <sighs> we, we, we want you to perform, you know, yeah. as though you're performing, is it tonight at Alisa Hotel? What would you do for yeah. us? Okay. <laughs> so get, just get up and do, do your thing. And okay. then we'll come back. I, for those of you who are watching, who you, this, you feel that this is a calling for you, but you don't even know how to start it off, we'll tell you uh, the kind of education that you can have. Fortunately, Mr. Jackson also heads a music department. He'll be telling us a lot more about that as well. So more music uh, on World <laughs> is an all-time favorite. Who, who did That's that? Right, Dave Rudek. Dave Rudek. Take five. Yeah. Uh, uh, what year was done? 
Can you remember? Mm. It's way back in the six days. Back, I think. Maybe that may be a bit older than me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> way back in the six days. Like, but it's an all-time favorite. Yes. Yeah. Played by a many of the top uh, jazz yes, music. So it many. Is. I actually didn't know you as The only jazz musician I know in Ghana is Steve Bed. You didn't. You didn't <laughs> know. I, yeah. Really? Yeah, Steve Bed was the oh. only one. Then I know you too, Della Jackson. Yeah. So I know too. <laughs> oh. oh. Remember so me, they tell him something. Yeah, he I, he's out. lost, he's lost. Because <laughs> a lot happens at Plus 233 mm -hmm. as well. There's, there's a, a whole jazz society that you need to, you need to get closer yeah. to Uncle Ken. Yes, I Mr. need Mr. Kenneth yes. Addy, need you to. need to. I, I used to have a nightlife then I, I became, I became daddy. so still. I became husband and daddy. I, I, be, I became <laughs> reclusive. Oh. But, 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 but critically, um, how, how would you pay yourself at the end of the month? Mm. Uh, now I get into the professional. You know, I work with ICGC as an, a musician for years. Thank God for Otabel being there, and he's been so wonderful. And I play jazz, and I t I give private music lessons too, but I teach five different instruments. I have contracts with different churches, training both youth, adults, and children. And my passion goes a lot to children. I love kids. And I have three albums to my credit, too, as well. You have three awards. Congratulations. <laughs> and you have, uh, so, so those albums, you're still circulating them? Yes. Yeah, the, I, I choose to do instrumental album because I'm looking for something sure. that can sure. stand the taste of time, evergreen, that never dies. Yes. Now, knowing that we're in Ghana, and we don't tend to have a lot of nightlife, and also knowing that it's strictly you listen to gospel at dawn and in the morning, no other music, <laughs> and late at night, perhaps even when you're going, because that's when people meditate and they pray and mm -hmm. go, and go to sleep and wish that God is around us. How difficult is it to penetrate people's mind, knowing that, s telling them that, Jazz is just music, rhythm that you just need to enjoy. That you can melody. even meditate on. Uh, somebody will say jazz is for the discerning mind. Mm. Or jazz, some people term jazz as music for the intellectuals. But I don't believe music, is the, jazz is the kind of music that relaxes you. It's so peaceful. You go and I mean, regardless of what you're doing, even if you are a centrist and you are in your workshop working with a quiet jazz music, yeah. but it gives you that creative mind. And even if you are intellectual, you are at the, in the academics and you, you are studying or you're reading with jazz in the background. It, it, so jazz cuts across. You get what I mean? And, and uh, this part of our world, okay, some people think any music that is instrumental is jazz. Yeah. No, 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 no. Instrumental music is different from jazz. So what music. makes it jazz then? It's a language. We have a music okay. language. It's a music El, language. El Clou? What El Clou does... He's a guitarist. He's a guitarist. His jazz, type of jazz, categorized in the smooth jazz. Okay, and then That's what great. about... Uh, Dave Cox jazz can be turned as smooth, smooth jazz. jazz. Uh, George Benson, oh, those type of people. Uh, that is smooth jazz. Then you have those who do the real ah. traditional the, the jazz, like the, the Charlie Parkers, the John Countries, uh, uh, Wayne Shorten. What about, um, okay. Keep thinking mm -hmm. about it, but I also wanted us to explore the department that you had, the music uh, department, Central University College, am I right? The music department? No, I had a music part, a jazz department. Jazz department, uh, sure. Of music. Okay. Central, music now has different departments as far as uh, genres of music are concerned. Okay, so, oh, so this is the jazz department of music. Music. Okay. Jazz department of music, which was inaugurated just on uh, uh, last uh, third, third April this okay. year. Okay. Barely less than a month old. Uh, I first pushed the idea of having uh, education as my main objective and, and main objective of my colleagues, which together we put the idea together to mm. 
put up the judge department. You know, if you look, there is, nationwide, there is a huge vacuum as far as music education is concerned. Mm. You go know, right, right from basic school to uh, SHS, there's no music in the record. Mm. Yes. That's true. But by side enough, it's being kept at the tertiary level. Then you ask the authorities, are we working with our head down and our legs up? So you can do music when you go to <laughs> the <laughs> university, yeah, because but you don't learn the basics. Oh yeah, how are you going to, I mean, so it doesn't, then it doesn't make become sense. Then. It doesn't make sense. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, that vacuum is there, and we need all together, all of us together, need to talk about it, set the agenda for our children's sake. The next generation. Yeah. Well, if you, Ghana music, to, to be frank with you, Ghana music is nothing to write home about. If you step outside Ghana, you hardly hear Ghana music on mm -hmm. other people's airways. Uh, mm -hmm. But we are here. We are being bombarded by our DJs and everything by other countries' music. And then you ask, you ask, don't we have good music here? You get what I mean? Or maybe we have the few good ones that we have that. The presenters don't want to touch mm. because you don't have money. She, she is a, oh, no, no, no. I, I, I don't think every presenter. I don't think every presenter takes money to play music. I think the the difficulty, the challenges, we're used to a certain tempo. You know, now the music is uh, is at a certain tempo, so that if you do below the tempo. Uh, it can only be played at certain times. You can't be listening to some high mid-tempo tune and then suddenly you drop. Like, it doesn't fit in the flow. But, but you know what? The whole Ghana, I have only one radio presenter that I always admire and I'll die for. Who? Doreen Ando. Ah. Okay. You like She's her? on our station. No, so. no, she is. <laughs> you like her or because of the music she plays? Which one? Because of music, because she's adventurous. She goes out of her way, really researches, collects a lot of music, quality music. Mm. When Darlene's on air, you say, hey, she knows what she's about. Yeah. You, you know she what makes I mean? it her business, you know? Yes, but other people, how many did you just go out of their way? Just look up how, what kind of music have been, albums have been released this month. Okay. What, what are the genres that were released? That's true. What, but no, no, no. I think we're just kind of like just dropping the music. What no, is no, when, we, when I was younger, GBC and Co., they have what we call the login sheet. Every presenter goes to the library to pick the music. You log in, you come on air, you log mm. for the musician to get something no, to. That's okay, just hold on. Do you hmm. log in when you play? No, she doesn't log in. <laughs> Okay, so but she's guilty. Yeah, she, I mean, they're, no, I'm not they're guilty. guilty. No, I'm not guilty. No, she. They are, until they are you guilty. listen to my, until you listen to my flow, no, you can't I, come no, on that way. But I guess you know what I'm trying to say is that a lot of things have changed. But what is I think what we are not doing is a lot of people play the music, but they don't even understand. We don't. We're just yes. playing. I mean, what when we you're think presenting music, just around. take your time. Study about what she's doing. Yeah. You get what I mean? Like a, a presenter is presenting and a saxophone is playing and he says, oh, the trumpet is sounding. And my God. Yeah. <laughs> no. So you mean that person can't distinguish? Exactly. No, 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 because yeah. you're not taking the time to at least to... No. So the presenter I mean? must know the music as well. You must know. I know the Just like you have a church. You have a church and there is somebody who is a, it's a, it's a music pastor. And is he heading a music department, but doesn't know what goes into the instrument. Oh. Doesn't know the difference. You're, you're the talking same. as if you have an experience. Uh, no, no, I'm not a lot. <laughs> because I know you and music, you'll be having problems with the Kwama. But, but then there's one more thing, and we have to conclude on our discussions very soon. Now we have musicians who use all sorts of computer generated. Um, perhaps instruments. What? They don't mm -hmm. play the live instruments. They don't the play on the, the lyrics these anymore. live things in the studio to generate the sounds. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. So, uh, how how then do you do you reconcile that with what needs to be real? They even sing. They sing auto tune. So yeah. the person, you you know, the person has sung live, and that's not the person's voice on the recorded <laughs> LP. That so, so that we arrive at this stage as a result of the absence of music in the basic school. Okay. Because if the child starts from class one, before he gets to JSS three, he knows at least something about piano. Mm. And in that child's 
can drop out. He knows something to play. But yet the child doesn't know anything. He comes out, he feels he has a gift. And there's somebody who, the computer is there. He too, he didn't go to school to study up a piano. He goes there, he just do two hands like this. They're programming. You get what I mean? That is how it's going to be. You see the thing? So this, I'm happy you mentioned this. So what are we going to do? Because I've been worried about it. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's not helping. It but is killing... I can it's I ask killing a, our young ones. Can I yeah. ask another question? If you're not going to be performing music in your uh, in future as a child, uh, what's the benefit of learning music uh, when you're in the basic you, school? You, you know what music does to the brain? Music sharpens the mind. It sharpens the mind. That what every every that is, opens the mind. That, that every musician and instrumental player is an intelligent person. Is that what you're saying? I, I would insist about when you, you start with the, the child, it's more, more on this part of, in this part of the world, we always don't pay attention to the little ones coming. But that is where life begins. You get what I mean? That is where life begins. If the child by six or by four, the child starts to touch violin or piano, guitar, I bet you, if that guy is going to be a great musician, you see it from the beginning. Mm. You get what I mean? And over here too, we we we, we disturb the kids too much with uh, uh, early learning. You get what I mean? Right now, two year olds go to figure they are giving homework. Yes, it's true. What work is going to do? Finland, which has the best education in the whole world. You get what I mean? Kids don't start writing examination till they are around fifteen. They go they write examination. You get what I mean? You get what I mean? From age one up to five, the only thing is to play with toys, to use their mind. You get what I mean? But is that what we're doing here? No. We have turned everything upside down. You get what I mean? So me, I'm waiting for the day when all radio presenters and TV presenters will wake up and say, can we all come to one voice? Let's set the agenda. Our nation is taking a nose dive. And if we don't take care, we are going to hit the bottom of the ocean. It's, it's frightening. And if we don't take care, it's how we're talking about music. Mm. It's, it's, it's happening to all the other places. You see our National Independence Day? You see the, you see the mess? Our brush, our president, our president, not even know even the name of our president. You, you, you know what I mean? People laugh over it. It's not a laughing matter. Yeah, for example, uh, Prince, the Prince, the artist called Prince. Prince, Prince. that's that guy's and a he, great he guy. He can play every instrument. He plays all, getting to forty instruments. Okay. Yeah. And he died, leaving three hundred million dollars. Our parties mm -hmm. would have fought in Parliament <laughs> over three hundred million <laughs> yes. dollars alone. Yes. They would have insulted people for one month. One month. That's Radio it. and TV for three hundred million. Yeah. An artist lives his life. For how many years? <laughs> he lives three hundred million dollars. He doesn't have any child, and that money is going to mm. charity and his yeah. siblings. Because the system, three hundred million. The system is running properly. Mm. The system yeah. over there is so, running properly. Uh, they, the, they, the, know, they know what music or of the course. The, the jazz does. department at, at Musica, yeah. uh, the the one that you had. What do you do really? No, we just inaugurated the department barely uh, less than a month ago. Mm. Yeah, go. And okay. our main okay. objective is to spearhead the loving of bringing music back into okay. the school. If we do that, we'll be killing two birds with one stone. So you we, want to get it into the schools? Of course. Okay. Why so are you how, do you, how do you intend doing that? What we can do it because the schools are there. There are a lot of schools. So you'll be organizing music clinics? Or We're what? organizing music clinics okay. and reconstituting people and we talking to the, 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 the leaders of the nation. The policy makers. And that they need to bring music back. To okay. the if all of you, can you imagine coming to radio and the musicians are saying, nobody play music. TV, nobody play music. We we'll we'll talk. Yeah, you, can, you, you talk for 24 hours, but <laughs> you will be tired. <laughs> Is it right. So that's yeah. the agenda. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's the agenda. You know what I mean? Mm. And help other musicians who are already playing, but have not really gone too deep into their instrument because of lack of mm. places for them to go to be taught properly. Sure. We create an avenue for them. Have you set so some timelines for yourselves? No, very soon now things are getting, we are uh, just inaugurated and just they're close to the Jazz, International Jazz Day. Mm. My 
co-director is Victor Day, who happens to be the best jazz pianist along Victor, the West Coast. Victor, Victor Day. Day. Victor Day. Coffee Day is junior brother. Yeah. Because I know Coffee Day also. He plays also plays. There are four in the family. For mm. all of them play piano. I, I have a yeah. I have a, a a friend who also plays really really well. His name is Kwame Eboa. So Kwame sort of is a good friend of mine. Pianist. We've been friends mm. for years. Kwame was born is born in the family music family. Yeah. The yeah. daddy owns a band. That's the KK's, you know, a two band, right? Mm. Mr. You KK belong to a band now? Do you belong to a band? Yeah, I have a quartet. A quartet. That's the La Jackson's Quartet. The name of the quartet is The Breeze. Quartet means what? The Breeze. You, you, guys, four. you guys are four. Yeah. The Breeze. The Breeze. The Breeze. Mm. The breeze quartet. So why are you going to play this weekend? Um, Alisa is my house. And Alisa is watching you right now. So, uh, so, uh, so, the restaurant so, is watching so, you. The lounge is watching you. So Alisa, you. Uh, you'll be playing from where to when to when this weekend? Eight. In uh, Fridays, uh, fr eight till like midnight. Like today, this evening, eight after work. Oh, mm, like today, we yeah. have. I'll try and catch up. We we in in relation to the International Jazz Day tomorrow. We having a program. We in collaboration with UNESCO, and Alisa and Music Yard. Okay. So what do you usually play it in Alisa? Is in the, the, in the Table Bay Jazz Bar. Yeah. Okay. It's in, in, in the Pegasus building. In okay. Alisa, we have Pegasus, we have the village, then we have Landmark. Yeah. yeah. All right. He, he doesn't, he still doesn't know this, so I'll bring <laughs> him myself. Then, Plus two, two, three, where is it? <laughs> I want to go. Plus two, three is almost opposite GBC, if you like. Yeah. Uh, yes. So it's also yeah. down the Alisa Road. Okay. Yeah. So maybe tonight we say, uh, like we, we are welcome, walk up to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we hear your voice. I, I always tell my wife, when you come to read. You like my voice. Uh, man, you are the guy. first person telling me my <laughs> life. You look sharp <laughs> in TV3. I say, why, well, anytime. You yeah. are the first person telling me you like my voice. Yeah, anyway, yeah. you are a musician, so I think you know All good right. things. Oh no, no, I mean it's. I would say it, it, everybody has a unique voice. Yeah, and mine is unique. It's yes, no <laughs> wonder. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> he he needs that. He really needs that. But let me also say. Uh, that there's something, Alliance Frances is also organizing uh, ah, something. Yeah, I think I it's a whole that. awareness month for them. So yes, a, a whole lot. There's a jazz and high life something happening. That's going to, to tonight, well. you have the legends of high life happening at Alliance Frances. Mm. That you have guys like Ambule, A.B. Kinsel, uh, Ben Braco, wow. and all of them on wow. the bill. Yeah. Then those who are They'll be on the bill. Yeah. yeah. At uh, uh, Alliance Frances. Alliance Frances. Then those who are jazz fans can troop to Alicia Hotel. Mm. Oh, maybe HBM. land at Pastucci. It's not bad, right? I go to church, but if I go to a jazz, it's not bad. Ah, but what's no, wrong no, with no, that? No, I'm asking. No, that's no, cool. When you cool. go to ICG, I was surprised that you go you to see, ICG. The funny thing is that the people are too hypocrite, especially some of Christians. Most Christians. Most Christians. Don't say so. They listen to radio in their rooms. Yeah. For me, I, they sing, dance to the music. I sing a lot of love songs at the wedding reception. When you can tell people, I'll never sing worship song at the wedding reception. What are you talking about? <laughs> that, that, can you imagine making love playing at worship you? <laughs> no. Mi corazón. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, let me read some messages. Uh, on WhatsApp, Mami Ofoy in Obuasi says, Mama V, nothing comes close to listening to jazz music after oh, close of uh, a hard day's work. It relaxes your soul wow. and all. I agree with you. Some of us are jazz lovers. This one says, you're truly Mr. Jackson. I just hope uh, they're listening to your good advice. But please make a tour to Ho and see how young men and women are playing musical instruments. That's from yes. Elvis Nyako from Ho mm -hmm. singing us that message. Uh, and he sends it like three or four times. <laughs> uh, this one says, simple. He is very, very subtle campaign, you know. Uh, one, w why won't he go to... Uh, the communities which have invited him. Uh, okay, now I don't know. You're, are you? Is it politics or this is jazz you're talking about, Ahmed? Uh, come again. Okay, so if you want to send us a message, please uh, zero five sixty eight hundred thousand. That's the WhatsApp number. Uh, and then if you've got a question. So uh, Dennis Tumu uh, says, you know what I mean, Mr. Jackson is motivating the young ones who are interested. Dennis in Tumu says so. Uh, so Mr. Jackson, if you want to get into this kind of profession, uh, this specialized area, how do you begin? How do you start? Mm, if you have no good place to start, you can just check out, check us out in music, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Get yourself for now. For from next month, we are going to roll programs to start teaching uh, beginners, intermediates to help them to come up. Because yep. since those schools, people who don't have 
the opportunity to go to school. And we are going to see how best we can try to... Over, over here, we don't have companies sponsoring education. We don't. We don't. We you play guitar too? I play guitar too. But guitar this is your favorite. So you play yeah. the sax, you play the guitar? Yeah, now on stage, I use both guitar, my sax, and your the flute. bamboo flute. Okay. Bamboo flute. You know. what, what are the two other instruments that you play? No, I do the piano. I do basic piano. I okay. teach kids piano a lot. Then I do the trumpet. Oh. This mark is a trumpet mark. <laughs> you know, I've played trumpet for years. That's the ARS brass band. Yes, okay. yeah. yeah, that's where I started. Oh, wow. you know, and, uh, and you teach the kids uh, at ICGC too? Yes, yes. If you come to ICGC now, we have very vibrant children. Back on Sunday, you see kids. You can see more than... They're playing instruments. Kids, Sunday, you can see more than 100 kids. Everybody, their guitar, they come oh, in, they oh, go oh. with the pianos and... During the day, you have the youths coming to do trumpets, piano. I mean, it's exciting. Yeah. Otabel is wonderful. God bless him. That man has too much passion for music and has created a job for a lot of musicians. Yeah. Really? I yeah, tell sure. you, you have no idea. You should come and visit our church. Yeah, I should. We have a full orchestra. Yeah. Accra Orchestra. From ICGC? Yes. yes. Accra Symphony Orchestra. He created it? Yes. We that have brass band that's in the church. Fashion. Then we have two huge juvenile bands. Have the main church band. They all play gospel music. They all play gospel music. Yeah, and uh, uh, and the, the the tradition is that the second offertory, uh, it always comes with good jazz music, uh, man. You will love it. Like everybody is, you know, nodding their great. heads. No, no, be, be yeah. just for the, uh, in relation to the International Jazz Day, actually the International Jazz Day. Tom, the main focus is about education. Mm. So a lot of educations are lined out. Like next week, on the 4th, we're going to have a workshop at uh, Alliance Francais and Victor Day and uh, Bernard Aissa are going to be teaching on uh, uh, improvising with the pentatonic scale on jazz. Okay. Pentatonic, pentatonic, pentatonic scale. scale. Mm. That is five note scale. Okay. On jazz. All right. Uh, Gideon in I don't know where you're going with what you're saying, but he, he is here. He's as vibrant uh, as he, he could be any time, any day. Mm -hmm. We've got to wrap this up. Uh, uh, hello, Mr. Jackson. I would like to learn how to play a saxophone from you. How do I meet you? Abraham from Somania is asking. Uh, this one says, uh, Mama V, please tell Roland to chill. Jazz is a soothing, so relaxing. I love jazz. But Mr. Jackson, <laughs> Actually, did you know I, the fact that I don't go to the places to go and listen or watch <laughs> doesn't mean that I love jazz. I, I know a lot Pamina more musicians Kodam, than Thanks you for your message. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I really uh, love jazz. Okay, all right. So, and uh, I know Elvis. Of his uh, this one says, it. just final messages, and then we'll wrap up. I'm Ben from uh, Germany. Jazz music, fantastic, and I love it. Tell my man to keep it up. Yes. All right. Uh, I love the man's words. Thank you, uh, Jackson. Ayariga from Doma. Uh, this one says, Mama V, I did music in secondary school as one of my electives, and trust me, jazz is great music. And it's coming from Kinsman from Aplau. Mm. Elvis Kwashi, he says he plays. Hey, this is Mama Vital so Roland. Let's invite him. Mama Vital Roland, his <laughs> voice isn't sweet at all. Kai, 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 kai. <laughs> <laughs> who, who said that? Wait, wait, hang on. I'm not surprised, hang though. <laughs> I don't trust That's from Kenzie. Kenzie uh, Bobo sending us that message. I I uh, actually don't trust my okay, own voice. Your voice oh. is not sweet, so keep quiet. More grace. Oh, where's the message? Uh -huh. More grace. Hashtag Mr. Jackson. I'm enjoying. Uh, it's from Val Smith in Pando sending that message. And this one from Ho. What are you saying? I'm also, I also play uh, trumpet, uh, wow. some musical instrument, but I stop just because people don't respect us at all. That's from Elvis. All right. Mm. Elvis from Ho. Thanks a lot. Uh, final one from Teshi, and it's from Francis. Francis says, I love music and would love to learn more. Uh, Francis from Teshi, thanks a lot for the message. Okay, so now we have to wrap up, and we need to wrap up with good jazz music. Wow. With a tune. I mean, I don't know. Any tune from your heart. So okay. Wow. Nice. It's, it's been nice a wonderful tune. morning. Yeah. Yes. Look.
music, great, great music, great music. Dalla Jackson there, the top saxophonist we have in the studio today. Yeah. All right, uh, so you can you can enjoy more of his tunes this evening at yes. the Elisa Hotel at 8 p.m. Do you have some of your songs there. on YouTube? Yeah, you check. You can I have two videos on YouTube. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now from my first on, album. No ones. audios? You don't have audios on YouTube? Mm, no. Not yet. All no, right. No, no, no. Okay, so uh, th there's, a, there's a question. You know, today is Friday, and it's also the last working day in the month of April. God has been amazing. Uh, so there's a question we've been asking. How do you say thank you to yourself, Mr. Jackson? I ask you, Roland, think about it. Yeah. How do you say thank, thank you, you to yourself? yourself? After working the whole month. Is it, you know, going to the most expensive restaurant to buy the most expensive food because you worked so hard? Uh, I like saying thank you to myself by being alone quietly. Mm. I enjoy being alone. You enjoy being alone? I tell you. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. That's the sweetest time. I like quietness mm. than listening to music. Okay. Or read something. All right, Roland, what do you do? Um, You're a chilling man. Yeah, I, I go to a Chinese restaurant once a month. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't. I, I didn't think about. I didn't think Roland I, would do that. Uh, yeah, I, I go to a Chinese <laughs> restaurant once a month. And I have just a quiet time and eat. <laughs> Wow. And you know my body too is great. I eat. Nobody knows that I eat, so <laughs> I load it in. That's okay. Mr. Walker clean, for you. Clean my lips and come and sit home. Sit. All right. How uh, was your day? So we hit the streets. Uh, <laughs> we'll bring you the views, but we want to say thank you to you, Mr. Thank you, Jackson. Jada, Dela Jackson. It's Thanks my so pleasure. much. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's also a pleasure knowing you. Yes. And I'm so grateful meeting Mr. Walker in person. Huh. Yay. And, and Mama Yay. V. As for me, Chale. Mama V, why not surprise when I saw her this morning? Oh, okay. <laughs> she she's, looks smaller than I thought in my head. Okay. Yes. When I first heard her on Joy of Famous. Wow. Oh, you're reducing me. her brand. Don't, don't do that. No, 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 no. That's the whole idea. Thank you. That's a compliment. <laughs> All right. So uh, what do you think? We put the, the question on Facebook as well. We're going to pull up the response shortly. But first, the response from the streets of Accra. Okay. At the end of the month, I buy something. Probably I go and sit somewhere, take a drink, relax, and then enjoy myself because of all the stress and everything I go through. So at the end of the month, when I get paid, sometimes I call my friends. We all go out, chill, take a rest and all. That's what I do at the end of the month. I have to take, you know, a rest or something to make me feel relaxed. That's all. You know, I have never thought about it. I have never. Probably once in a while, I want to get myself something. But it's not necessarily to say I want to reward myself. But maybe, at the end of the year, I think about it. Maybe the whole year. Yes, but in terms of month, ah, I doubt I've done that. The most important thing for me, as far as my money is concerned, is how I get the next pay. How I'll come before I get the next pay. So let's say after I've taken whatever I have to take out, the next thing after I've put in some of my investment and stuff like that, when I'm done, the most important thing is how do I get the next? How do I come to the next pay comes? That's all. The month. For now, I'm in school. So at the end of the month, I go to the beach, have fun with my friends, just to happy myself. End of, at the end of the month, I, 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 I eat fufu once. I like fufu power. Like every day, if I get, I, I, I will be like it. But at end of every month, you know, I just uh, take one, one fufu. Uh, many of you have been sending a lot more of your messages um, through our network platforms on Facebook, join us on TV, uh, and also uh, we have uh, the Facebook page. Join us on TV as always. Somebody is at the beach. Who is that? Is that Roland Noba Gore? Uh, but we have your comment. We have from Nantongma, uh, but we have some salivating pictures there. Please go up and let me see. Fred, go up, go up. No, no, not down. Go up, 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 up. Who put this picture there? Wow. Is that a stick? That's nice. Uh, but let's go up. Uh -huh, okay. So we say uh, hashtag AM show. It's the last Friday of the month. Normal workers have been paid. How do you say thank you to yourself for working the whole month? And do you eat from the expensive restaurant? Where I eat is not too expensive, but 
I mean, it's enjoyable or the same. Have a or you have small girls or or boys night out. Do you also spend the weekend at at the beach? We wanted you to share this with us, and um, oh, go down, uh, go down, and truthfully, um, our lead producer, uh, um, France, Francesca Abla de Souza, decided to put this sumptuous picture there, salivating people's appetites. <laughs> okay, you go up there. And then go down, go down. We have a couple of your messages. This one from Nantongma, Muhammadu Badim Surugu. Public sector worker salaries have not been increased for a period of four years now. <laughs> so we are very careful on how we spend our monies. Okay, live, live a life, please, Nantongma. Okay, and then we have Chasse de Rev. Chasse de Rev. Spend less, save more for the future, for the betterment of our country. Just relax it. We didn't say go and spend all your money. <laughs> life, is, life is short, please. And we have Aslam Bamba. Now, the way the economy is, we spend wisely. Ghana for us. We didn't say go and sit in the most expensive restaurant. We mean, how do you spend time? Like, for example, if you live in Tamale, do you just go and sit at a corner, take a bottle of uh, drink, and then you go back? That's a way to relax. And now we have uh, Dixon Wenyonu. Thank God. For the money and pray for more. <laughs> and uh, Mamila de Yakubu said, Don't spend because unexpected expenditure is on the way by JM. <laughs> you still have to go up and Andrew Remy Quay, rejoice in grace and uh, safety through it's amazing than anything. Okay, you say you rejoice in grace. All right. So we, those are some of your comments. But I mean, some of the comments were so much unexpected. We were thinking that you tell us how you relax. Because for all the many people, I think, send us a lot of those messages, I bet you they still go and have a relaxing time sometime within the weekend. Uh, you've worked for the month. How do you relax yourself? Some people will decide to read books. Some people will watch movies and sip drink. Some people too will go out, go and sit somewhere, etc. Those were the comments. We didn't say you should go political. But all the same, please make sure that uh, you stay with us throughout the period. Because next we have uh, AM Talk and we'll have our guests in the studio. We'll have a, a nice chat about the most topical of issues um, back in your mind. But also uh, making the discussion platforms on which you're on. We're taking a break. We'll come back with AM Talk. <laughs>